Now, when we look at all of the previous Bitcoin halving cycles, September is the catalyst month for the entire crypto industry. Yes, we're talking about XRP, Solana, BNB, Ethereum, and all these other cryptocurrencies seeing massive swings in movement at a very specific time during this halving cycle I just mentioned. And because the halving cycle has started this year, well, we have a lot to look forward to for Bitcoin, for XRP, and virtual Virtually every single other cryptocurrency but today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys the exact cycle how it starts when Bitcoin is likely to go to a hundred thousand dollars or even more and when all of that liquidity is gonna start pouring down to ethereum to XRP and all of your other favorite cryptocurrency assets because this is gonna be explosive and it's likely to be different than any previous bull cycle before because of a couple of key metrics we're also going to be talking about in today's video. So hit that like button so everybody sees this and let's get into it. So I'm going to start by showing you guys something I have never shown you before. It's my little secret that really shows pretty much by default when any single a cryptocurrency or stock market or real estate boom is about to happen. And it's something simple. OK, so you're going to notice a couple really interesting things on this chart. Number one, if we go back to 2008 and 2009, there was a period of time where the total amount of circulating dollars went up astronomically. Now, ironically, this was also around the time that markets recovered after the huge financial crisis crash and absolutely took off. And since then, we've had another massive increase in total money supply. In fact, unprecedented levels where we went from the 15 trillion level right here all the way up to 21 over the course of two years. Now, you might also recognize this time if you were within the cryptocurrency industry because at the very same time that the Fed was printing all of these trillions of dollars, what was happening? Well, Bitcoin was touching numbers it has never seen before. I mean, we're talking about $70,000 Bitcoin from a price that was unbelievable before that. And other digital assets like Solana, like XRP, going up 100x over the course of a very short period of time. We're talking about 2020 to 2021. Solana literally did a 100x. And well, this is when the whole world realized something, okay? When the Fed is printing money, that money has to go somewhere. And smart investors, what they do is they invest that money into an asset class that allows them to preserve their wealth. And many people see Bitcoin as a way to do that. Many people saw Solana as a way to do that. Many people saw XRP as a way to do that. And that's precisely why those assets absolutely climbed up. But I want to show you guys a very specific point in this cycle right here. 2020, February, a couple months later. May of 2020, the supply absolutely skyrockets over the course of three or four months. It goes from 15 all the way up to 18. Okay, that is insane. This has never happened in the history of the world. This is more money printing than the world has ever seen before. Okay, and that, that money printing continued all the way up until February, March of next year before we finally saw those interest rates starting to come up, which of course decreased the circulating supply. And since then, it's been holding more steady than before, but still a little bit of a concerning time, right? A lot of people were uncertain of where the economy was headed, but let's just look at what crypto was doing at this very same period of time and how long it took for Bitcoin to start climbing once that printing started in February of 2020. And so this is where we see something incredibly interesting happen, okay? The Fed starts printing money and the immediate effect on the market for Bitcoin right here is it goes from $10,000 down to almost $5,000, it loses nearly 50% of its value. But what happens immediately after it loses nearly 50% of its value is where all the millionaires and even some billionaires were made. It goes from $5,000 per coin, just, you know, a year later, quite literally a year later after the printing started, to $60,000 per coin, okay? 5,000 to 60,000. I mean, it doesn't take a mathematician to realize that if you had bought a lot of Bitcoin at $5,000, you would have made a disgusting amount of money. But what was more disgusting was what a lot of altcoins did just a little bit later on in the cycle in the following, you know, 10 months after Bitcoin hit that all time high. OK, this is when Solana did that 100 X I was telling you guys about. And that's where the real money was made. OK, it wasn't just in Bitcoin. Like, don't get me wrong. You could have made an insane amount of money in Bitcoin following this Fed cycle, this monetary cycle. 
but then you could have made a lot more on altcoins. So that's why I would say, you know, sure, buy Bitcoin, make that part of your portfolio, but also look at, you know, five to eight different altcoins that you think will get a ton of liquidity after Bitcoin hits its peak. Because I mean, look, if you look at the charts right now for Bitcoin, we can see, you know, it's starting to go down in price. And, and very interestingly, at the same time, what is going on with the Fed? Well, they are lowering rates, right? And, and many people see the immediate effect of the Fed lowering rates to be extremely bullish. And don't get me wrong, it's exciting because we all know there's a possibility that the money may go back online, but we can't forget what happened here. When the Fed started printing money in February of 2020, the immediate response was fear, panic. The markets go down 50%. The stock markets get absolutely eviscerated. Real estate markets get destroyed. And then following that, that's when the magic happens, right? Almost a year later, that's when we hit all-time highs. That's when the money that has been printed actually goes into circulation and people are spending it and using it. And they're deciding, hey, I wanna put money into something where I think it's gonna stay around and not just disappear. Because of course, people's money at that point quite literally was just getting devalued to the point where you know $100,000 was then worth $70,000 a year later. I mean, that, that's insane if you really think about it. And so here's the thing that a lot of people I see right now are not prepared for. If the Fed continues to lower rates, and of course the Fed also plans to start printing money, well, this could be a dangerous time. A lot of people could be taken off guard if they don't pay attention to previous monetary cycles. And this didn't just happen in you know 2020, as I guys showed you. It also happened in 2008 when they had to bail out all of these major banks, right? It's happened time and time again. And generally these monetary cycles pretty much perfectly aligned with the Bitcoin halving cycles too. And maybe people get confused on this. They think, okay, is this the Bitcoin halving cycle or is this the M2 monetary federal reserve cycle? And the unfortunate answer is it is indeed the M2 federal reserve cycle. They're the ones who start all of this because they're the ones who print money and devalue the currency and force people to find better alternatives than the US dollar to store their wealth. So here's the thing. Interest rates will most likely continue to come down, but many people are thinking, and, and about 90% of the market think, okay, lower interest rates, price goes up, but that's not, it's not as simple as that. Sure, the price will go up maybe a year later once we hit that bottom in terms of interest rates, and maybe the money picture goes back online, but that's not gonna last forever, guys. You know, we're gonna see a big, massive dump initially. And that's where you guys want to be prepared to buy. I mean, this even happened last Bitcoin bull cycle, for goodness sakes. We look at here, Bitcoin hit like $60,000 per coin right here in 2021, you know, April of 2021 here. Boom, you know, just like three months later, it's at $32,000 per coin. Once again, it almost loses 50% of its value. And I think we're about to encounter the same thing here, guys. I think that Bitcoin is about to be down 50% from its peak of 71,000. And then we're going to get the second leg up and tr hit the true all-time high. And that's when we actually hit our all-time high of the cycle. And that's when the altcoins actually get all of their liquidity. Now, how many months away are we from the peak of our cycle right here? Well, we're about five months down the road from the peak of our cycle here. We're about four months right now, actually. In September, we hit our peak, you know, around May here, right? So we're about four months. So maybe it's going a little slower than it did before. We're at 56,000 from a 71,000 peak, right? But I think, in all honesty, guys, I think that probably the next little bit here is going to be a little bit of red price action, right? And that's something we all want to prepare for. I closed out all of my long Bitcoin positions. I made my money and now I'm just waiting to see how the markets are going to react right now. And you know, I'm ready to buy. I'm ready to buy a lot. I'm sitting on a lot of cash because I'm ready to buy altcoins. And, and here's a beautiful thing, guys. And here's the thing. If you don't want to take risks, just right now is not a great time to buy Bitcoin, but it is a great time to buy XRP. You can buy XRP, right? Because if you look at previous cycles, what you'll notice is that, yes, Bitcoin did have that 50% drop, but most altcoins didn't. They're a lot less volatile. And XRP supports this. If you look at XRP's relative performance when compared to Bitcoin, it's actually outperforming Bitcoin on most days. And it's held a much more consistent price than Bitcoin as well. So it's really safe to dollar cost average onto XRP and even leverage trade XRP right now. So that's where all of my focus is. I'm waiting on the Bitcoin bias for a while. I'm buying a lot of XRP. And if you guys want to leverage trade with me, well, you guys can do that. And guess what? Right now, there's an awesome competition on Margex, my channel partner, where if you guys trade, you're going to get access to this massive pool of rewards. And the more you trade, the more rewards you'll get by the time this competition is over. Right now, 
based off of all of your guys' trading volume through my link, we're at over $5,000 in the rewards pool. And you guys can make that rewards pool a lot bigger by just continuing to trade. So if you want to open up some long positions on XRP right now because you're bullish on you know the next movements of XRP, well, feel free to use my link down below, open up some positions. I know I'm going to open up some long positions on XRP very soon. And shout out to you guys who have been trading away because you guys have got a pretty big rewards pool for you guys all loaded up there but yeah overall guys there's a lot of insane stuff that's on the horizon here i think the biggest message we need to understand from all of this is money printing initially is bad you know it causes massive dumps but what happens when that money gets in the circulation right after is absolutely incredible and that's what we need to wait for here interest rates will come down and once they get to a certain point the fed will likely be forced to print money and when they do that you want to be ready to have cash on hand. You want to be ready to buy that dip. Because if you do, well, you can make 100x on certain altcoin assets and you can make, you know, over 10x on Bitcoin even, which is absolutely amazing. And that's what I'm really waiting for. Now, when exactly is this going to happen? Well, it's likely that we'll hit our peak mid to 2025. And, you know, honestly, I would buy Bitcoin at this price because I know it's going to go a lot higher in the future. It's going to likely go over $100,000 per coin. And yeah, I'm ready for that. I am prepared. I'm ready. I, and I'm happy to buy Bitcoin even at 56000 Now, leverage trading is a different story. I'm not going to be going leverage long on Bitcoin at this moment because I do know it could get very volatile. With all that being said, guys, smash the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And also sign up on Margex and trade some XRP, maybe short Bitcoin, do whatever you want because you'll get access to a massive rewards pool for the trading game that's currently going on. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.